It was bold, it was powerful, and it looked like it came straight out of a science fiction comic. In 1955, a machine rolled out of English Electrics, Dick Kerr Works in Preston, that would go on to reshape Britain's railway history. This is the story of DP-1, the Deltic prototype. Officially known as DP-1 and originally nicknamed Enterprise, this sleek diesel electric locomotive was a rolling experiment. Powered by not one but two Napier Deltic engines, it produced an astonishing 3,300 horsepower a beast unlike anything British Rail had ever seen. Its design was pure theatre, long cream-coloured pinstripes down the sides, triple chevrons on the nose, and an aerodynamic shape that screamed speed. The inspiration came from across the Atlantic. Its bulldog nose looked straight out of America, resembling the EMDs and ALCOs of the era. English Electric even planned to fit giant rotating Mars lights on the front, though those never made it onto the final build. But the real genius was under the hood. Those 18-cylinder Deltic engines, originally designed for Royal Navy ships, were compact, high-revving and powerful. They were slightly derated for rail use, increasing their lifespan and reducing the strain on parts. The result? A revolutionary locomotive with enormous power but a relatively low axle load. Perfect for Britain's main lines. DP-1 was first seen on the rails in 1955, making a dramatic debut on fast freight routes between London and Liverpool. After a few tweaks and tests, including on the iconic Settle to Carlisle line, she began hauling passenger services like the Shamrock and the Merseyside Express. But not everyone was convinced. On the London Midland region, some senior engineers dismissed high revving engines as unsuitable for rail use. DP1 was nearly sidelined until a man named Jerry Fiennes stepped in. Fiennes, the traffic manager on the East Coast Main Line, was desperate for high power diesels to replace underperforming locomotives. He saw what DP1 could do, and he wanted more. His push led to an order for 22 production Deltics, later designated Class 55. These new locomotives would dominate the East Coast Main Line from King's Cross to Edinburgh, replacing steam and setting new standards for speed and performance. The Deltic legend was born. So what became of the prototype? After racking up over 450,000 miles, DP-1 developed a major oil leak and was withdrawn from service in 1960. Repairs were never carried out, and in 1963, she was donated to the Science Museum in London, where she stood proudly on display for three decades. She's now preserved at the National Railway Museum in Shildon, just a mile from where she was built, her engine silent, but her legacy thunderous. And while those original engines will never run again, Many parts were taken for Royal Navy spares. DP-1 continues to inspire, from Kitmaster's classic model kits to Bachmann's 3D-scanned OO gauge replicas and Hornby's 2023 die-cast release. The Deltic prototype remains a favourite among collectors and railway fans alike. She was never meant to be a star, but DP-1 became a legend. If you enjoyed this journey through railway history, don't forget to like this video, share it with your fellow train enthusiasts and subscribe to our channel for more incredible stories from the golden age of rail. Got a favourite memory of the Deltics or spotted DP1 in a museum? Drop a comment below, we'd love to hear your thoughts.